When five-year-old Lee Van Merritt falls four metres into a concrete gorilla enclosure, panic breaks out. I thought he was dead. Lee Van is at the mercy of Yambo, the silverback. Yambo was a hero on the day. It's early morning at Jersey Zoo. The day starts as usual for silverback Yambo and his family of western lowland gorillas. 25-year-old Yambo has been the leader of the group for 14 years. He has a family of one young male, three females and two infants. The silverback is the group leader and uh, the role of the silverback is to oversee the group. So intervene when squabbles take place between them. And also, obviously, he's very protective of, of his offspring. But what is about to happen shows that gorillas are able to show great compassion towards us. At nine o'clock, the zoo opens. The Merritt family are some of the first visitors to arrive. The trip is a special treat for the boys. What can you see up here? What's that? It was Lloyd's birthday, so we asked him what he wanted to do, and he wanted to go to the zoo. Look, he's coming down. Look, 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 look. Can you see that one over there? Lloyd is four today. Leave and is five. You see him? It was our first day of our holiday. It was warm, but not warm enough to go to the beach. 100 metres away, it's feeding time for Yambo and his family. It's not safe for the keeper to go into the enclosure. Yambo could feel his authority is threatened and attack. The first animals they wanted to actually uh, see were um, the monkeys, because uh, obviously they're playful and uh, scampering around. We actually heard in the distance the noise from the gorillas. Lee Van and Lloyd wanted to go over to see where all the fuss was about, all the noise. So that's when we actually decided to go over to the ape enclosure. The Yambo was massive. He was extremely big. Jumping, can you see this, guys? Can, can you, you see, see it? this? Can you see it? I it. It was the first time they'd actually seen a big uh, gorilla. When they actually get up close to it, actually massive, you don't actually realise how big they are. They could see the, the big ones sitting on top of the hill looking around. They couldn't see the small ones which were down the bottom. Oh, see the gorilla, Dad. Boring. OK, come on, little man. Okay. Okay. Can you see it? Can you see it there? Stephen picked up Lloyd first because it was his birthday and he was the youngest. Look at him. Wow! Daddy. Levan loved climbing. Levan literally climbed everything. Trees, climbing frames, you name it, Lee Van climbed it. Lee Van was pulling himself up on, uh, on the wall, trying to look over, and obviously that was his big mistake. <laughs> Lee Van falls head first, four metres into the concrete gorilla enclosure. knows if Lee Van is alive or dead. When I first looked over and saw him lying on the concrete, I actually thought he was dead. You brought them out since a child and bring them out for a treat. And next thing as far as you know, they're, they're gone. They've had a little accident and um, you've just lost them for the rest of your life. But the worst is still to come. <laughs> the unfolding drama was captured by an amateur cameraman. Yambo has the strength of more than 10 men. Weighing more than 200 kilos, he could easily kill an adult human. Hey! 
Whilst Jambo is roaming free in the enclosure, it is too dangerous for anyone, including the keepers, to go in. So he wanted to get down there, to be there with him, to try to help, but I was held back. If Levan's father goes in, Jambo could see him as another silverback and attack. It's an extremely dangerous situation. And I just started shouting and screaming and actually going really hysterical. Two women came over and took me up to the top of the hill and told me it won't be long now and Levan will be out. How Yambo will react to five-year-old Levan is a real concern. Silverbacks are very protective of their family group and aggressive towards intruders. You see your son lying down there. You can't, you can't get to him. You think to yourself, you're just, you're just hopeless. But it's not just the silverback that's a concern. Levan has also attracted the unwanted attention of the young gorillas. But far from attacking, it's the moment Yambo turns animal hero. As this live footage shows, Yambo appears to be protecting Levan, positioning himself between the boy and the young gorillas, as if aware of the danger that Levan is in. I felt Yambo uh, actually protected him from the, from the youngsters, from uh, being too inquisitive and perhaps pulling them about a bit. But what happens next is even more surprising. Is Yambo comforting the small boy or even checking to see if he's alive? I saw Yambo actually pull up the back of his shirt and smell, and, and I should imagine he was taking a scent. Once he'd done that, he seemed to brush the others away and keep, keep them away. I think he showed genuine fellow creature concern. Gorillas are, are capable of showing empathy towards members of their own species, but also to other species, the human species, for example. Yambo's behavior that day seemed to go well beyond just instinct. I think he, he understood that the child was in, in distress and was injured, so he was trying to protect him from uh, the rest of the, the group. Levan has now been in the gorilla enclosure, lifeless, for five minutes. If he's alive, he's likely to have a serious head injury. When Levan actually started moving and let out a scream, unbelievable, the relief was, was indescribable. I ran back down, and that is when I actually looked over the wall Obviously, he's seriously injured, but at least he's still alive. He was trying to get up, so I just told him to stay down, stay down. Stay still, dear. And there was so much blood around his head and his ears. I just wanted somebody to get in there to get him out. The keepers have no idea how Yambo will react to Levan's cries. Wait a minute, dear. Yeah. Coming to but what Yambo does next surprises everyone as he leads his troop away to their indoor quarters. I think he probably thought that he'd done his bit, his work was done, and there's no, no more threat to the group. They're getting them indoors. Go on, come. Just wait a minute. Is it going in? It's the moment the Jersey Zoo staff have been waiting for. 20 minutes after five-year-old Levan fell into the enclosure, the gorillas are finally locked safely in their sleeping quarters. But just as the door closes, Hobbit, 
a young excitable male gorilla escapes. With no yambo to keep Hobbit in check, the youngster is extremely dangerous. The seven-year-old male weighs 85 kilos and has the strength of four men. Levan has been trapped in the enclosure for 20 minutes. The extent of his injuries still unknown. It's been 20 minutes since five-year-old Levan Merritt fell four meters into the concrete gorilla enclosure at Jersey Zoo. The unfolding drama was captured by an amateur cameraman. Animal hero Yambo protects the badly injured boy from the younger gorillas. He was treating him like one of their own and protecting him from uh, harm. When the boy regains consciousness, another remarkable act follows as Yambo leads his troop away. Was he again protecting the boy? As the gorillas are locked up, Hobbit, a boisterous adolescent male, escapes. Once again, Lee Van is in extreme danger. He's very, very excited. You can see his lips were tucked in and he was strutting. Now, when lips are tucked in, that usually means that a gorilla is not particularly happy with the situation. It's a situation that could have been dangerous. At less than half the size of Yambo, the young gorilla is still extremely dangerous. When you're um, in that sort of situation, Obviously, a, a, a second actually seems it seems like an hour. It's, it's all sort of in slow motion. Lee Van's head injuries could become life-threatening if he remains in the enclosure without help. Time's just going on. I thought to myself, well, someone's got to do something. Come on, guy, take some nervy. Andy Wood is the only keeper on hand to face up to Hobbit. It's the first time he's been in the enclosure with a large male gorilla. He has no idea how Hobbit will react. With the arrival of the emergency services, ambulance man Brian Fox now assesses the severity of Lee Van's injuries. When I first got there and I looked over the wall at Lee Van, I could see from his wrist there was open fracture and also his head, you could see some blood coming out of the ear, fracture of the base of the skull. <coughs> first I looked at him and he was making a lot of noise and screaming and that was fine. But then leave him all of a sudden went quiet. You've got roughly three minutes. He could possibly choke and die. Brian needs to get to Levan, but with Hobbit in the enclosure, it's the zoo's bird expert who bravely goes in first. Brian Fox, the ambulance man, quickly follows behind. It's terrifying. But a little boy's life's in danger, you've got no choice. It's like, you've got to do your job. And hope the keepers can do their job, and I'll do mine. But Brian's job will not be easy while the powerful Hobbit is charging. Without Yambo present to keep him under control, Hobbit is trying to assert his dominance, just as he would in the wild. It's not till I got in there and look up to the gorilla, then you think, 
he's a big boy, <laughs> and I can't get out. I'm really concerned for my safety as well as Lee Van's. Unlike animal hero Yambo, who comforted Lee Van, Hobbit is not calm, and his excitement poses a great threat to Lee Van. With three adults in his enclosure now posing a direct challenge to his authority, Hobbit becomes more and more aggressive. I thought to myself, well, it's, it's going to happen again. He survived the, the big one, but is he going to survive and being pulled around if the little one gets hold of him? Hobbit's charges are getting closer and are keeping Brian pinned against the wall of the enclosure. Sometimes he would run and stop about four or five feet from me. You just think King Kong, I think he's going to eat you and all this lot. That's the only thing you've got in your head. He is quite a big lad and their eyes seem to be red instead of white. That was a bit concerning to say the least. Keeper Andy Wood, in an incredible act of bravery, now stands up to Hobbit, trying to intimidate him just as the silverback Yambo would do. Lee Van has now been in the enclosure for 25 minutes. Lee Van had lost quite a bit of blood and we needed to get him out of there. <laughs> Darting Hobbit is not an option. It will take too long to take effect. And he is likely to become even more dangerous and attack. Brian's colleague sends a rope over to get them out. But Hobbit's having none of it. As Andy Wood gets Hobbit to back off, it's the moment Brian has been waiting for. Van's 30-minute ordeal is finally over. Oh, an amazing amount of relief when Lee Van actually come up over the wall. At least he's safe, he's moving, so he's alive. Lee Van was airlifted to hospital and treated for a fractured skull and multiple fractures of his left arm. The bone that came out of his arm, just literally millimetres away from his main artery, they did actually tell me that he was very lucky. He could have been, it could have been a lot worse. But if it wasn't for Yambo's actions that day, Lee Van may not have survived. For the size of Yambo, just to sit there and um, stroke Lee Van, it's incredible. I think Yambo was a hero. He did actually look after him, and it was like a protective dad. Lee Van's extremely lucky to be alive. Yambo definitely saved Lee Van's life, helped to save it without any doubt. Yambo's actions protecting the badly injured Lee Van that day went beyond anything we can explain. But it seems likely that he realised the youngster needed protecting and went to his aid. Yambo's behaviour on that day did so much to improve the image of the gorilla in people's minds. You know, this King Kong uh, character sort of prevails, and gorillas aren't like that. Lee Van eventually made a full recovery and three months later returned to Jersey with his mother to meet up with animal hero Yambo once more. When he came over to the glass, he sort of tilted his head and Lee Van tilted his head. And I'm sure he did actually recognise Lee Van. Both in captivity and the wild, silverbacks are highly caring of their young. But what was unusual is that Yambo extended his compassion to a human. But as incredible as Yambo's actions were, they were not unique. Ten years after Lee Van's accident, a startlingly similar event happened in the USA. The hurriedly filmed amateur footage showed a young boy, just like Lee Van, who'd fallen into the enclosure at Chicago's Brookfield Zoo and was knocked unconscious. Just like Yambo, Bintijua, a female gorilla, did not attack. Picking up the injured child, she gently carried him in her arms, just like a human mother would. 
She then took him to the door and waited for her keepers to collect him. But what's uh, remarkable about that is that the little f the female Pintadjur actually went over and gathered the child up and put him on her back and then walked up towards the keeper door. This child doesn't belong in this enclosure. You know, take him back. Twenty-three years have passed since Yambo came to Leven's aid. This poignant trip is the first time Leven's been back since he was a boy. Yambo has sadly died, and Yakwanza is now the new silverback. But it's just it's just here, and uh, about this spot here, I would say. I've got no recollection of the actual event because I was so young. Well, you went... I think anybody would be pretty lucky to fall in there and survive. Yambo was a remarkably gentle animal, and we had a very close relationship. He remains conspicuous by his absence. Thanks to the actions of animal hero Yambo, Lee Van Merritt is here today. Jambo has protected me as one of his own. You could say he's my hero. Next time, the tsunami disaster of 2004. Eight-year-old Amber is on the beach. I really thought the worst. I thought that we'd lost Amber. It was my worst nightmare. She was saved by an elephant. Ningong saved my life.